Um, I think cricket is still a game that um, is too marginalised in the grand scheme of things and the grand scheme of the world. There's so many countries in the world and so few countries play cricket. So if you can have a Romanian learning to play the game at such an old age, but spreading the love for the game through um, the European Cricket League was actually the first time I've heard of it. Um, so that means there's cricket going on in other parts of the world that we probably aren't privy to, which should be brought to the attention. Um, so he definitely had my support. Um, supporting my company as well I could talk about that a little later um, but yeah um, for me from me to him is just you know congratulations on making that plunge um, and look forward to seeing a lot more of him on and off the field um, I think it's very important I think with the proximity that we have um, in the Caribbean so close to the US is incumbent on, upon us to get as much cricket into the US and uh, in North America as possible um, I know that a lot of the guys support and are involved in the US Open as well and that's just another way of West Indies cricketers lending a, a hand to the US. Um, I think it needs to be a concerted effort, not just a one-off series. We need to find ways where the US Cricket and the West Indies Cricket Board can come together and actually get um, more competitions, more series, more involvement with the US um, and the West Indies, whether it be senior team, A team, B team, on the 19, whatever. Um, obviously that's for board level, not so much myself, but just from looking on the outside. Um, I think there's efforts being made, obviously with CPL coming here for a few years as well, and it's just to find the, the correct way to move forward. You never know when you have that breakthrough event or series or episode that you know it can launch as it should, but until then we just need to make the small strides so that when that launch does happen that the relationship is intact as it should be. Um, no, I think it's the best team at our disposal. Again, um, the way I look at it, you look forward to 2020, and if we play 15 players between now and every series leading up to 2020 and two or three of them get injured then we have three new players or relatively new players in the squad so every squad that we select is the best squad whether it's the best in terms of personnel is up for debate um, and is I guess shared opinion um, but we have to look at it as it's the best leading up to the World Cup putting the best pool of players together and spreading the net as wide as possible so that when we do select that final 15 for the World Cup that we've run enough players through certain roles and that we're confident enough that they can perform whichever role is asked of them.